Hi there, my name is Shane Kadar, and if you don't know me, Shane Kadar is a person who is just very, very lively, very silly. I love to have fun, and right now I'm experimenting with characters. So I'm gonna have a whole list, it's gonna be like a little, like a little channel, and I'm gonna put like, the goal is 10 videos. So the first character you're gonna meet and I'm gonna read a book to you. He's gonna narrate. This is going to be, um, well actually let me start over because one of the things that I said that I was gonna say at the beginning of the intro of this video is who I am and what these what this video is about. This is gonna be a narration, a character, uh, basically a exemplification, exemplification, exemplifying? <laughs> a portrayal of my ability and my talent as a narrator or a voice actor. I am going to be reading a story to you, reading a book to you, in an Australian accent. And that person's name is... <laughs> laughter. Laughter keeps you alive. That person's name is... <laughs> if I can find the book... <laughs> Where did I put my book? I'm a goof. I'm a goof now. All right, so, um, oh, and then also, okay, so basically, I, I, I'm an actor, so I like to, I like to have fun with different characters and different voices and all that, all that. So, um, there's some monologue videos on the other side of my channel. There's some modeling things. There's a whole bunch of stuff on there. And, but this is going to be the Australian. I have my goal, I forgot to tell you my line. If I can find this book, I'll really be happy if I can find this book. You know, I just moved here and, um, <laughs> not from Australia. <laughs> I'm not Australian. <laughs> I actually just moved here from, uh, from uh, the suburbs and now I'm in the, the city. And um, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's it's really exciting to be here um, in this place. I've never been here before. Um, I mean, I've been in, it's into the city before, um, but I've never left where I live now. In this area. Um, so I'm really excited about it because I'm really excited about it because I, I just don't know what the future holds. I have my own goals. I have my own dreams. You know. I decided to take you with me because I want I want you to still be there with me. And I, I want you to... I found it. I found it. Okay, I put it away in my file cabinet. My file cabinet. But, um, alright, so... <laughs> oh, my. So, we're here. Oh, ooh, oh, gosh. <laughs> alright, so... If you've managed to make it this far with me, you're amazing. You're an amazing, amazing viewer. You're a fantastic viewer. <laughs> be with me through through the tripping and over the the tripod and the finding of the book and sorry I didn't even introduce my name uh, myself my, my, name, my name is Alex my name is Alex <laughs> Alex Blanco I can't. I can't be Alex Blanco. <laughs> I can't. Anyway. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. My name is Alex. My name is Alex Noah. Today we're going to be reading this wonderful book. It's one of my favourites. It's called Conscious Dreaming. Conscious Dreaming by Robert Moss, A Spiritual Path for Everyday Life. This is a book that's about um, basically how to vividly dream and how to lucidly dream and control your dreams. And also, um, it's, it's going to teach you how to communicate and use your dreams to make your life better. So, this is going to be really interesting. We're going to read... Where we left off last time. Oh, if you also, if you don't know, I'm a breaking character. I'm gonna be me. 
Hi, I'm Shane Kadar. Thank you for getting this far. We're at the five minute mark. So, I also have a Live Key. Live Key is an app owned by Digo. And I'm on there too. I'm an official creator on Live Key. You can find me. My name is Shane Kadar. It's spelled S H A Y N E underscore Kadar. K E D A R, by the way. I'm going to spell it out. It's S H A Y N E underscore K E D A R on Live Key. So, you can find me on there. I Um, I usually go live the first eight days of every month, or the first five days, within the first eight days, it depends on, you know, what's going on, but, <clears throat> excuse me, all right, um, I'm, 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 I'm channeling Alex Noir, Alex Noir, Alex Noir, come on, come on, come forth, Alex, the Australian, hi guys, I'm Beak, all right, so, you ready to read with me? All right, so. Journey to the East. This is, oh, by the way, this is page 60 of Conscious Dreaming. This is Journey to the East. Okay, well actually let me just start all over because you probably don't even know. All right, from the beginning of the page. Scrambled in transmission and garbled in, trans in transcription. In working with dreams, I, I have never wasted more time or seen others waste so much time as when I have ignored message of this kind in favour of symbolic interpretations. Before I do anything else with a dream, I ask, could this dream mean exactly what it says? If my dream takes me into an unfamiliar but, but realistic locale, I will ask myself, is this a place I will visit in the future? Or a place is happening right now. Even for dream enthusiasts, it is it is it it, it is blah, blah, blah. it is possible to do intense extensive work on only a limited number of dreams. But I try to run this kind of reality check on all my dreams, including the most trivial seeming bizarre or fragmentary. To run an effective reality check on dream material, it is necessary to record your dreams as completely and faithfully as possible without editing. I confess that I still miss some of my dream messages by letting my internal editor in interfere. On the morning of December 13th, 1994, I made the following entry in my dream journal. Journey, journey to the east. I am taking trains across Holland. At one stop I ask if we have arrived in Night Nijmegen, 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 they are they are anxious to help. They tell me you. They tell me we are not yet in Nijmegen. I will know the town by a certain church steeple. I have been to the east, to the sea, and I have been to the water fully dressed. My clothes are still drenched and water is pooling around my feet. I was not surprised to find myself in the Netherlands in this dream. I had recently returned from conducting some active dreaming workshops OIBBO that's literally spelled O-I-B-I-B-I-O an adventurous holistic center in the old Mercury building in Amsterdam and was planning to return the return there two months later. I have never been to New Zealand, but the name of the town rang a few bells. My friend Odd van Oelsen, an interpreted dream explorer, had recently moved there and had invited me to visit him. Nijmegen is also the twin city of Albany, New York, near my home. But I was confused by one oddity in the dream report. It stated that I had been to the east, to the sea. I I am no expert on Dutch geography, but I needed to know Atlas to tell me that the sea coast of Holland is to the west. How could I have been swimming in the sea if I have if I was? 
contrary, it made no sense. I proceeded to, to flout my own rule by editing my dream report to fit what my waking mind going back inside to dream to, to inside the dream to clarify the fact of simply, of simply leaving the question open I inserted the word also into the key sentence in my dream report so it now read I have been to the east also to the sea why so much ado why so much ado about the geography of Holland six weeks later at the end of January Holland suffered the worst flooding in 40 years as the swollen Rhine spewed its waters into the mass and, and smaller rivers running through Holland causing them to burst their banks. While the Dutch laboured to shore up the dikes, hundreds of thousands of people were evacuated from their homes. The area was sub that was subject to the worst flooding was around Nijemen in the east of the country. I now realise my dream had, been, had given me clear warning of an impending natural d disaster in a country on the other side of the Atlantic. Interestingly, when I reported this dream to a Dutch businessman on my return trip to Holland, he became very excited at the mention of a church steeple in Nijmegen. He showed me a set of colour photographs of a former monastery in the town completely church steeple. The buildings had just come up, had just come on the market. He was considering buying them and con and converting them into an international conference center. This little story contains an object lesson. Whatever else we intend to do with a dream, we should try to honor these principles. One, let the dream speak for itself. The dream may not make sense immediately to the waking mind because it is telling you more than all you already know in your ordinary consciousness. Remember that dreams involve the future as well as the past. For this, so that's number two, remember that dreams involve the future as well as the past. For this reason, you may not be able to grasp the full meaning of a dream until waking events catch up with it. Finding a correspondence dream, the correspondence between a dream and a possible future event or another situation in external reality does not exhaust its mean, let's see another page, meaning. The dream may contain symbolic messages beyond its literal content. For example, Paul came to me in high excitement with what he regarded as a fine example of recognition that's interesting but maybe we'll go we'll pick up on that later so ooh, I needed to stretch my back for a second hi it's me Shane Kadar I'm back so that was Alex Noir's reading Conscious Dreaming by Robert Moss and that was really just two pages but it was so much information um, we're at the 13 minute mark well, 13 and a half minutes. Thank you for being here with me and just like listening to this knowledge because my intention is to bring forth positive energy and positive vibrations out into the world. Educate, learn, grow, and like just with the rest of the world, but put good out there. And yeah, so let's learn together, guys. Thanks for watching me. I'm Shane Kadar, if you don't know me. Um, please subscribe, like my videos, share them if you think that someone else would actually like to read books or listen to me read books in different accents. <laughs> Bye!